start your engines. Give us your lipstick, there's your helmet, now get out and race. My name's Victoria Beaver and I drive a 1958 Rover. I am a property investor. I love doing the HRDC Championship because it's uh, such fun, it's like a big family, everybody looks out for everybody else, everybody helps everybody in the paddock. Today I've come on my own but it's fine because I know there's going to be loads of people here that I get on really well with and it's just one big party really with racing in between. My name is Joao Mira Gomes. I'm Portuguese. I race the Jaguar XK140 from 1956 and I'm a Portuguese ambassador. Diplomats, they tend to play more golf than to race cars. I decided to drive the car, the racing car, to the races. I live from Brussels, I drive all the way to Calais, I take the Euro Tunnel, come to this side, and then um, the next challenge is to find a very nice pub to have dinner. I'm Julius Thurgood. I founded the HRDC in 2010. Uh, it's basically to bring back and revive the old school club racing that used to be prevalent in the 50s and 60s uh, and bring back that camaraderie that's so often missing in mo modern motorsport where people help each other, race hard against each other and party even harder afterwards. <laughs> My name is Louise Kennedy. I drive a 1963 Fiat Abarth, otherwise known as uh, Freddy, Freddy Fiat. I also drive this 1953 Lancia Aurelia B20 GT and my occupation is legal director for an IT company. We always have immense fun. Um, I race with my husband, I race against my husband. Today we're going to be racing against each other in the separate cars. I'm Ray Davis. I drive, amongst other things, this Austin A35 here and my occupation is a specialist car preparer for historic vehicles. They're great fun. They are the world's most unlikely racing car, but when people see them and how fast they go, they really can't quite believe it. My name is Ding Boston. I'm the coordinator of the Oxford University's Motorsport Foundation, which is a student initiative at Oxford to teach people how to use their hands, effectively. There tends to be, I think, a a view of those who walk amongst the cars to think that this is unattainable. How can I possibly be involved in that? And then they suddenly come across a group of 19, 20 year olds with an old car and suddenly, wow, this could be for me. And we have an enormous and growing following of youngsters who Twitter and tweet and whatever they do <laughs> and are quite clearly, you know, fantastically enthusiastic about seeing what we're doing. The characters just come along with the cars and, we, you know, it's a fabulous uh, array of people. Um, lots of characters, lots of eccentrics, lots of nice people.